Good morning and happy Friday, Dos Pueblos. Nate Lara signing on. And as always, I'm Heather Cano, and your DP News starts now. survey that is deeply encouraged for parents to take for students returning next year. The survey is about parent perception of school climate as they relate to a student's well-being, opportunities, and learning. <laughs> the survey is a companion to the Healthy Kids of California. It is voluntary, it's anonymous, and it only pertains to our school. So anyone that is not a senior, tell your parents to please take this survey. Next Saturday, December 14th, we have yet another opportunity to beautify our school. To be involved in Beautify DP, you have to be qualified for NHS. Be sure that you're in clothes that you don't mind to get dirty, bring a bottle of water, and be ready to handle all kinds of different various jobs. Also, if you're behind on community service hours, this is a perfect way to get some in. Clubs meeting today are the Anime and Manga Club in Mr. McKee's room, the Chess Club in 815, Future Scientists and Engineers of America's After School Until 4, and the Good Humor Club in H31. Also tonight is the Holiday Parade, so remember to come out, support our DP cheerleaders and band, Gigantic Christmas Trees, floats, and more. Remember to dress warm and bring some hot chocolate, because it's going to be frightfully delightful. Today in the Greek, there will be a wreath toss, so be sure to go out there and earn some points for your class. Also, be sure to bring your Christmas spirit DP. Now, Heather, if I asked you what your favorite sport was, what would it be? Volleyball. I don't even have to think about it. Volleyball, hands down. Well, what a coincidence. On the topic of volleyball, please remember to vote for Dos Pueblos alumni Carly Wopat on every single electronic device that you have. Voting ends December 9th. These past two days, Virtual Enterprise competed in a business plan, marketing plan, and the human resource division. Congratulations on second place in Bakersfield. On a more serious note, yesterday the world lost a very important figure, not only to African Americans, but to the whole world around. Nelson Mandela, the rev revered South African anti-apartheid, was held in prison for 27 years, led his country to democracy, and became his, pres his country's first black president. He died Thursday in his home, and he was 95 years old. He had inspired a generation of activists, celebrities that left him baffled, and he won a Nobel Prize and raised billions of dollars for humanitarian causes. He'll be greatly missed. Well, Dos Pueblos, that's all we have for your campus news. I'm Nate Lara. And I'm Heather Kana. Now over to Yasin with your sports news. <laughs> Hey DP, I'm Yasin with your sports news. Last night, the girls basketball team was in round one of the Lompoc tournament, dominating Santa Maria in a 64-33 win. Brandy Jimenez had 14 points, including two three-pointers, and helped the team score 24 points in the second quarter. They continue tomorrow in their tournament. <laughs> Dos Pueblos' Cole Smith was right in the thick of things at Saturday's CIF State Cross Country Championships in Fresno. As the Dos Pueblos senior recorded a fifth place result in the Division II race, Smith's time of 15 minutes and 23 seconds was just three seconds from a runner-up finish. Smith helped lead the Chargers to a third place team finish, one better than last year's, and the best DP cross country history. Andrew McGuan coming in 31st was the next best charger with a time of 15.53. Chris was Juton, John Greening and Ian was Juton rounded out Dos Pelos top five. Congratulations boys. This weekend is full of tournaments with boys and girls soccer as well as girls water polo all heading out to the matches. Good luck teams. Well that's all I have for your sports news. I'm Yusin Ibrahim. Also shout out to Macy. Happy birthday. <laughs> 